Hi guys, happy Friday. Yay. Let me turn this light on. Happy Friday. <laughs> Too short. One, two, Hi guys. Oh yeah, it's a little rainy outside, so our shirts are a little wet. Oh, there's Gubby Goose. Gub Gub Gubby Goose. Gubby. And my lady. Come my lady. Might as well come on. You gonna come on up? Just don't knock my coffee like you knocked my pop over last night. Yeah, come on. There. Okay, now we got him a lady. Good. Assemble complete. Oh, you send our rain. Oh, thank you. I actually like rain, so send it. Send it over. Rain the snow. Yeah, that's true. Rain's much more. Rain's much more cozy. Good morning, Lynette. You can't be seen. <laughs> Lovely Lynette. Hi guys. How are you guys? Good morning. Alma. Hi, Alma. Hi. Okay. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing this morning? We're doing really good here. It's been really busy and, and hectic, so we'll give you a rundown of this this week, and I hope you guys are enjoying these Q&As. I am. It's a nice way to catch us all up and get us on the same page. It's kind of like a blog kind of thing. So, um, the first thing I was going over or wanted to go over with you is we have an adoption tonight. Are you guys excited? So our sweet Alfred is going to his very own home last night. So Jody was um Jody is a very nice lady. I've actually known her in town for quite many years. And um she is just absolutely smitten with getting a cat. <laughs> She has been calling and emailing. She is very much wanting a cat. And, you know, of course she was looking at all of these cats and just could not have, you know, could not decide, which that is, it's a hard choice, you know. But um, she came up last night and we showed her Alfred and she's like just in love with him. And he fell in love with her. He was um, holding her hand and snuggling with her and rolling and, they, they just fell instantly in love. So I am so excited that they are going to such a great home, or that he's going to such a great home. And she's already sent me an email. She's going to change his name, and she already knows what name he's going to get. He's going to have a couple sisters. Um, so we'll go over all of that. Look, brother and sister. Oh, my lady. Oh, Snazis. So um, I'm really excited. Alfred's going to go to a, just a, a fantastic home. I am so He is Goosty. He is. I, I could not believe we've not had many people looking at him. He's just, um, he's such a gorgeous boy. He is such a sweetheart. So I'm so excited. So um, I know his new name, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to wait till she, do you know what it is? I don't. No? I won't tell you either. I learn stuff here. <laughs> It's only because we don't have time to talk throughout the day. So a lot of times this is when she finds out things too. <laughs> down here writing everything down. <laughs> She's making, I'll update my charts. <laughs> oh, Goosey, I agree. Oh, isn't he, he's got just the cutest muzzle to him. Like a big poofy muzzle and his hair is um, very crazy and all over. Um, so I'm just, they fell in love with each other. He was, um, grabbing her hand, wanting pets. Oh, it was, it's a love, love at first sight. So I'm very excited with them. We also have, um, yeah, I understand Jabber, which is why I always have my hair in a, it pulled back until I can get it cut, which hopefully will be one day soon. Hopefully. Um, so we also have um, another kitty on hold. The adoption will be sometime next week. I'll get you guys a date um, when we're when we're ready. When I when I have the exact date, but that is Caden. I think you guys all know Raven fell in love with Caden, and Caden fell in love with Raven's boyfriend. <laughs> Did you were you in here when he was in here? I can't. No, no, it was later at night because they came in for her shift. Um. I mean, he loves Raven, loves Raven, 
when her boyfriend came in, and you guys know how shy Caden is. He, he's pretty shy. When her boyfriend came in, it, it was like Jimmy and Cosmo. Aww. I mean, they were just like boyfriend. I mean, yes, I am so happy for Caden, and I think he's going to be just so very, very loved. Um, and it's going to be nice for him to, to get that one-on-one -on -one attention. So, um, man, it's, it's, that's an awesome home. We do have another kitty on hold, which, yeah, a bromance. bromance. That's the word. Hi, Beaker. Beaker and Bebe. Yeah, what size is Beaker's? Look, Friday is also Q&A plus Beaker baby update. Yes. Beaker, what baby fruit is your baby now? <laughs> what fruit is your baby now? He has a mango this week. Oh. I think mangoes are pretty big, like yeah. that. Mmm. Wait till he's a watermelon. <laughs> oh, golly. Yeah, so Raven and um, her boyfriend are just over the moon about Caden, so they're planning on getting him sometime next week where she has several days to spend with him, so it's going to be just wonderful. We also have another kitty on hold, which is going to be... Um, Jenny is not excited for the watermelon. Yeah, I believe her. Yes. Um, uh, so next week, or I'm sorry, excuse me. We also have another hold, which is Coral 2. She is actually on hold. They know that they are not, um, they're not quite ready yet. They've still got vaccinations and different things like that. So um, she knows that they're on hold, but they do have a hold on Coral, and she is very excited about her. So Coral is the long-haired calico. So pretty, so pretty. So they're doing very good. Um, I think they have a bit of a, a buggy. So we've started them on some antibiotics, and they're actually doing, they seem to be thriving. So I'm really excited for that, and they're eating very well. And I know a lot of you guys have asked about um, the Y kitties. What's going on with Y kitties? Where are they? Um, we actually, they also have a little bug all as well. It's going to be fine, but I'm just trying to keep them out of the main area so we don't spread this whole bug everywhere. Just like, you know, how you have a kid that has a tiny fever and they make you keep them home from school. They're being kept home from school. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So, other than that, they're doing actually really good, um, and they should have about one more week of um, quarantining, staying home from school, um, until they come out. How many have you brought in to take places of the adoptive ones? Um, go ahead. No. Let me. No, please. No. No, do it. Go ahead. No, you. No. No. I refuse. No, I refuse too. <laughs> We're just going to sit here silent until Lynette speaks. They're not adopted yet. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 I, I want to take them in, even though we have pre-adoptions in place, but I'm being good. I'm being good. Okay, some things that are out of my control. Kind of. All right. I'll give you that one. Wink. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Um, <laughs> how much are adoptions? Uh, our adoption fees are $100. So, um, so yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll see what's in the works, you know, coming up soon. I can't leave her alone. She can't. She is the, the sensibility <laughs> to, to this Thank pairing. Thank you. That was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you are. She... She keeps me, I would have a million cats, and I would also keep a million cats, so um, she's, she's the one that Thank you, Selena. doesn't let me keep a million cats. I agree, Beaker. I, I say to her, when it comes to her answering whether she could take a cat in, I always say, where are you going to put it? Yeah, she does. And, she and that's all I have to say anymore, and she's like, oh... Oh, Susie. <laughs> oh, that's so nice, Susie. Aww. Thank you. That's very true to Dark. 
Um, you guys have noticed that a lot of the new kitties happen on weekends when someone's not here. So tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> Just kidding. And where are you going to put it? <laughs> I, that's, that's our problem. Um, I am running out of places to put cats right now. So, and thank you, Susie. That's very, very nice. I'll be sure to tell Raven. She'll be, she'll be delighted. So thank you. So yeah, so no new kitties yet, um, but as soon as I can get some kitties out of quarantines and cold rooms and, you know, all of this business, then uh, it's going to be on. Thank you, Susie. Geesh, you just, you, you got right on that. <laughs> Susie immediately sent that. Thank you, Susie. Um, Jabberwocky wants to adopt too. Oh. oh. Jabber, the, the, did you guys see Magellan and Rumpelstiltskin last night? I brought them out. Aww. I showed them. Aren't they cute? I showed them. Yep. They are, they are getting big, guys. They are, Jabber, you just come right on over and you just pick them up. They are so cute. So we've yeah. determined where, you know, they're eating big kid food now, although they're still trying to nurse off mommy. Um, Rumpelstiltskin's doing really good eating big kid food. Magellan is very much um, spoiled, and she's decided that she she'll eat the food, but you kind of have to syringe her first because she's like, I'm a baby, so she's a bit of a, a pistol. But she they're both doing very good. You like the two babies too, Tom? Yeah, they're very cute, aren't they? Yeah, so. Yep, you guys, how are the box kitties and do they have names yet? Yes, they do. Um, there is Ellen, Coral, Carlton, and Amazon. And they are doing wonderful. Hi, Marsha. Good morning. So, yes. So, they're they're doing wonderful. Um, they're they're eating pretty decent, all that stuff. So all of that's very good. Uh, Wheeler on my no Amazon's actually the smallest. How old are Tigress's two babies? They are I think seven weeks yesterday, I believe. <laughs> he has not learned to do the dance yet. Carlton has not learned to do the dance. Um, so they're, they're doing pretty decent. Like I said, they had a little bit of a buggy. We kind of noticed it as soon as they had come in. Mm -hmm. But um, I had a great conversation with Dr. Darcy, who is just beyond wonderful and so helpful. And she gave me some ideas of things to try. So we've been trying those for several days, and we're, I think we're seeing quite a bit of improvement on them. So I'm very excited that they're, they're starting to perk up now. And then um, Debbie has actually just started Hi, making... Hi, Ethel. Um... What we call, what do you call it, Debbie? Oh, best, best breakfast brunch. Best, <laughs> best breakfast brunch. So this is a, a concoction that our, our lovely Auntie Beth, Eagle Watcher, makes for the babies. And she is um, a master of making it. So she's been making it for all the babies and they are just doing wonderful. Is Zeke being treated for sneezies? No not right at this moment so that's the problem with Zeke Thor and Milady they are chronic upper respiratory infections so how you treat this is by antibiotics you cannot give them antibiotics long term, long -term. so they've already finished a series of antibiotics uh, not terribly long ago and the more and more you give them to them it's just going to be ineffectual so you just kind of have to wait to find that sweet hot spot where it's been a long time and yet try to, you know, give it to them. So that's why they are on medical hold is because they chronically have this upper respiratory infection. And someone was really interested in Zeke the other day and I was like, you know, he's actually doing better. I might, you know, it might be time for him to be adopted. And then sure enough, that night he just snotted all over the place. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. So, um, how's Monica? Monica's doing good. She is so sweet. Monica's just an easy cat. She's just an easy girl. 
um, I would love for someone to adopt her. She's just mm -hmm. sweet. She never causes any fussies. Give her a spring and she'll play all day. Um, she's just a sweet, sweet cat. I, and unfortunately, I think because she's not all up in your face, she gets overlooked. And I think yeah. part of that's too the the black, black and black kitties just don't go very well. And she's mostly inky, as we can see on a lot of Sunny. Sunny's a fantastic cat, and he gets overlooked. Um, Stratton, <clears throat> you know, the whole sibling set will go, except, you know, Stratton's here. So, Zeke's not on you. Yep. Yep, Vicky, that's... If I had the amount of, of synopses that I get in my face, or my coffee, <laughs> you know, builds immunity, I suppose. <clears throat> so, yeah, but other than that, they're actually doing pretty good. But every time I remotely think they might be ready, then I think... You know, then they snot, and, and I'm like, well, I can't send them out snotting all over the place like this. So, she is a Monica is an easy, easy cat. She is a just a beauty. I love her. Oh, and Willow. Willow is yeah, Beaker. Willow is just. She is absolutely lovely. She is a sweet, sweet girl. Um, yeah, that's, a, yeah, I, well, I think, I wonder that too, because, oh, <laughs> did you, oh, you missed it, I, I'm blocking right, dive, Alma just dived into the, into the mouser, oh, look, oh, she just was passing through, that's all, <laughs> I'm just passing through, um, I, I know, Sunny is a sweet, sweet kitty too, yeah, and the October, or the twins, October and Wix, I have had so many, or I've tried to have so many people look in that, or look at them, and, they're they're also great kitties. I wish they would get adopted. So we're working on it. That's also I'm I'm kind of trying to deliberately not take in so very many kittens right at this moment because I would very much like to see the older ones get a little more adoptions going going in place. So so there's that. And then I think one of the last updates or one another update I had for you is Wheeler. How is this treatment going? It's going really well. He is doing very, very good. I'm very hopeful about this treatment. Um, and uh, he's, he's doing very well. He, we weighed him a day or two ago, and he's actually gained a, a pound and one ounce. So I am very happy with that, and he loves his room. His TV is the favorite, and he What's likes... not to love about that room? <laughs> we like the room. We decided we're going to get, like, a little human pull-out bed or something so we can go in there and visit and take a nap. Mm -hmm. But he's like, I, you know what? The the amount of calls, I, 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 it surprises me. The amount of calls that I get where they're like, can you take in a cat? Um, I have, you know, 30 or 20. And I'm like, oh my goodness sakes. That is, that is a lot. Hi, Kitty Francis. Yeah, we're, we're very, we're very excited with Wheeler and we're, um, he, he's doing great, so I'm very... Oh, hi, Roz's mom. Hi. I feel like I haven't seen you forever, Kitty Francis, but I guess it's been a little bit since I've chatted, too, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're doing good with that. That's going very well. And the other thing I was going to say is we are working on a... Um, go ahead. You do it, because that's your, that's your field. I'm talking too much. I get bored of myself. We are working on a, a fundraiser. I think we're going to kind of go a Mother's Day fundraiser. Um, it's going to be a lot of cool things for mothers or um, whoever. But I think it's going to go really well. <clears throat> Why is Lena a resident? <laughs> that, that's actually a great question. Why is Lena a resident? <clears throat> um, I think, so Lena was made a resident um, by Jackie. And um, I think she was made a resident due to um, her just temperament, temperament um, her shyness. She's not very much... Um, one to 
to seek out your attention or, or want attention like that. So that being said, I think in, in, mm, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Lena's came a long ways. She has. She, she has. She to be very, very shy and very. Um, and she very much, mm -hmm. but she, she's came a long ways. She has, she has, she's, um, oh, understand Kitty. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, when is Mother's Day in the U.S.? Uh, May 14th. <clears throat> yeah. That being said, if, if there were ever to be a point where, I don't know if I understand this. If there would ever be a point mm -hmm. in, um, in time where someone had a beyond amazing connection with Lena or anything like that and a perfect, absolutely perfect situation came available, I would consider adopting Lena out. So that would be a very long shot, but know that that would be a very... Um, that would be a possibility. I wouldn't be against that, is, is what I'm trying to say. Right. So, that would be the most ideal. <clears throat> How's Tasco? Oh my God, he's so cute. He is so cute. Ruth, I think you should come right down and just adopt him because he is adorable. He is. He is just, oh my gosh. Oh, he's so, he's so cute. Oh, I love him to bits. He's um, such a lover. Oh, he is. Where is he? Where was he at? Um, right in there. Yeah. Can I grab him? I'll go grab him. You, you check. Yeah, Jabber. I. He is so sweet. I have to tell myself no, too, because I would have a zoo at my house very easily. <laughs> Yes, he has been, um, the question was, has Tasco been running around since last Friday, I think, is when I put him down, um, and he has been out and about ever since and doing wonderful. Aw, thank you, Rick. Thank you for watching. He is actually asleep. I'm sleeping. He's asleep. Um. So yeah. So um. But he's he's absolutely adorable. Super super sweet. And. And Dr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. I know we keep saying. See, we you do got me saying it. I wasn't saying it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, Mr. Darcy. He's doing really really awesome. Uh, Tasco, we we believe he's about uh, fourteen. Um, Mother's Day at that the font for Mommy Bridge and Mommy Elsie. Do you know if Willow ever had kittens? Mm, I, we don't know if Willow's ever had kittens, but I, I sh should have read that out loud. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, Beaker suggested Mother's Day adopt, adopt a font for Mommy Bridge and Mommy Elsie. And then it, she asked, do you know if Willow's ever had kittens? I'm not sure if Willow's had, ever had kittens, but you would think statistically probably yes, I would guess. But... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that would be, it would be lovely to find Bridge and Ilse a new, uh, a home. I think they would just thrive, 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 thrive. Ooh, do we have a card count for Dr. Darcy? I don't, I don't. I, I would probably guess. We have them in a basket. 50 to 75? Maybe. Yeah, we, we have them in a basket. But you know what's neat? I, I'm surprised at how many international ones I've gotten. Those are those are amazing. So, yeah, they they are pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, Grandpa Darcy. I've got him, um, we're working on getting him scheduled for a vet appointment. That's going to be on my task list for today is to try to get him into the vets. Just to um, get him, you know, he's he's so old and he, he needs some work done, so... He's still got his heart. He's got a heart issue. It's a grade four out of five heart murmur. 
and um, so I want to get him into Dr. Darcy, have even a more thorough look over and see what kind of meds we can do to help him. Thing. Um, he's also struggling to gain weight. And I think that's just, I think there's just other issues going on. I don't think it's, I think it's possibly correctable. So he is also very, very old. And you know how older cats just struggle to do things. Oh, Cheryl, that's a, that's a great idea. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Yeah. Cheryl asked if sometime we could um, Facebook Live with Wheeler. You know, I probably could do that today um, after our injection. Um, we give his, oh, I mean, the medicine that we're treating. I'm trying, I'm trying to be vague. Um, after the medicine, we give him his treatment at 2. So I might be able to squeeze it in right after that. If you guys are up for that, what do you think, Mons? Sound good? Could do a little Facebook Live video of Wheeler. See how he's doing so he can show you how he's getting along. Oh, gosh. He's just like, touch me. Touch oh, me. touch me, please touch me. Yeah, look at me, look at me, touch me. Yeah. Oh, he's just, um, okay, so stay tuned for about, uh, about 2.10. I'll, I'll let the mods know first. So, um, y they'll let you know to head over to our, our Friends of Feline Facebook page, the actual page. Um, Jabber, he's doing fantastic. <clears throat> You know, um, I actually, th okay, so I did think about this, and I, it took me a second. Oh, trivia's at 1.30. Mm. Well, tell you what, this, guys, I don't want to interrupt trivia. How about we do it, would 1 o'clock work? Mm -hmm. Not for us. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Um, we got oh, we got, yeah, yeah, oh, sorry. Take that back. Okay, I'll we'll think on the time, guys, and I will get um, I'll get you something. Okay, just give us a, a moment. I'll work with the mods and see what we've got going on. Okay, because I know we have we have some other stuff we have to do around here and some public uh, stuff that we've got to do. How's Cecilia? Awesome. She's just <laughs> she's just a little old woman, and I think she thinks every single time you go into the room, you are there to feed her. Yes. Every time you walk into that room, she comes out and she's like ah ah. <laughs> she just she thinks your sole purpose in life is to give her food mm -hmm. <laughs> yes um let me see Tim or tiger don't let me forget that i'm gonna come back to that really quick um how's kim kitty she's actually doing very well i noticed with her knee i probably will send her up to darcy just to have one more x-ray done on that knee that she had that problem with when she fell she seems to be doing very, very, very good, but it seems like occasionally she'll have a tiny little flare up. I think she just zigs and zags and it's still just a little tender on that knee. So, um, oh, oh, yes. Okay, Dark, understand. This is a special trivia for a special person in the UK. Ooh, I know what that one is. I know who that special person is and I love that person too. And his wife. Um, so, as far as the Chatters page, a lot of people ask about joining Chatters. Um, if you have a, if you want to join Chatters, uh, Chatters is a private Facebook page where um, all you guys can talk, share posts, um, share pictures. You'll see a lot of um, our adopters sharing pictures of their cats that they've adopted. If you'd like to join this private page, send me an email to ffrc. Megan, M-E-G-A-N, at gmail.com, and send me, if you can, the link to your Facebook page. That would be so helpful. What I do is I'll send that over to the admin, and they will send you a friend request. Once they approve you, or once you approve them to be friends, they can add you to that page. So, yes, she does love Caden. Yes, understand. Not a problem. And I think um, we're going to work. I know this week, thank you, Dark, for sharing that. Thank you, Mods. And thank you, Admins. Our Admins are wonderful. They they control the, or control, that sounds so, they take care of our, our Facebook pages and getting rid of anything that's ucky and not nice. And I learned last night what a troll meant. Mm. I did not know what a troll meant. 
I actually sent it to... I, I, I did not know what a troll meant. Someone sent me a very sweet... Um, or a message on Facebook, and it said, you know, so-and-so is trolling. And um, I had to Google what troll meant. So... But I fixed the problem, so trolls are bad. Bad trolls. So... Somebody said, um, how much they love Paul and Claire last week or the beginning of this week. Yeah, trolls are mean. They had called. Claire had called. Claire had called. First of all, swoon. I don't care. If you have an accent, it's just swoon worthy. They, man, what an inspiration. Oh my gosh. That's all I can say is they are just so inspiring and so loving. And they are the kindest people. I, I just, mm. I literally want to take a trip just so I can see them. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh gosh. Mm. So, so you you understand, leader? Yeah. You understand. Uh, trolls are, I, I was like, I googled, what is a troll? And I'm like, oh, mm, I don't like them. But yes, Claire and Paul, um, they are just, they are the sweetest people in the whole wide world. I love them to bits. These, this yes. is one of your mods and they, they're kind. How is Pontia since her nasal rinse? Mm. Hmm. To start with, great. Mm-hmm. And then she's back to about normal. <laughs> um, I had hoped that the nasal rinse would would do much better and last longer than you know. I, I've I've not done this personally. This nasal rinse, Jackie had done it in the past, and she apparently had the same results we did, where it was just kind of you know it helped, but for a week, you know. So <laughs> troll yeeting, I love that <laughs> yeet. Um, but yeah, so it helped for a good week or so, and then she's just kind of back to her normal, her normal self, and, uh, she doesn't sound too, too bad today, but she definitely does have flare-ups, that's for sure, and with her, she's kind of in that same situation with, uh, Thor, Zeke, and the lady, as you can only do so much antibiotics. Can be. Canvy. Canvy is another one. You can only do so much antibiotics or it just becomes ineffective because you're just doing it back to back to back to back to back, which is why a lot of doctors, you know, remember that time where they stopped giving out antibiotics to us mm -hmm. because so many people were just taking it and taking it and it was just becoming ineffective, ineffectual. So, yes, and the lovely Debbie in the background eating her chips. Am I, am I making noise? No, they said hello to the lovely <laughs> Debbie in the background. Uh, yeah, they said they could only hear you chomp instead of us. Uh, Kitty's mom? Yeah. <laughs> Kitty's mom, can they take an allergy pill? Yes, they can. And actually, she is on it. So, um, Pania is on two consistent uh, regular meds to help control that. So, even with what you're seeing with her being stuffy and snuffly and all that stuff, that's even with her on these two pills. Sometimes we even add a third treatment in there, too. And this is just where it's at. And I've, I've spoke with Darcy about this. And it was very interesting because I'm like, you know, I just don't know where to go with this. It's just not clearing it. We're not getting any better. She's like, sometimes you're just, she, at some point you just won't get better. And it, it's, I mean, that's the point of chronic, you know, at some point you just will not get better. So I think our goal here is... <laughs> you're right, yeah, Beaker. <laughs> yes, Beaker. Beaker just said, Pania said flakes are the only cure. She's um, never too sick for flakes. She isn't. No, no. She she hates her meds, but somehow she she's like, well, I'll eat these yep. flakes anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, we just I think for her, we just try to um, what's that called? Just keep her comfortable. Mm -hmm. Keep her comfortable. We do have some like almost emergency meds that we can give if she's really having a bad flare up, but you have to be careful on what meds you have already given that earlier in the morning because they counteract each other. So it's very, it's, it's a very interesting thing. 
You know, I, I we've talked about food allergies. I don't believe that's the issue. Um, we, we did think about withholding any like fish products from her for a while to see if that that's it. I don't think that's the case because she has just had these from day one. I mean, this is how she had come in. Are her allergies worse in spring? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. I I feel like she's she's having them really bad in winter, really bad in spring, you know, summer. So I agree, Beaker. Um, Beaker said, even if they are sniffly, Pony and Canvy seem very happy and content. So that's what's important. Mm -hmm. We agree. Um, I think our main goal is just to make sure they're comfortable and, you know, you always have to put them first. So oh, nice. that's, that's what we do. Are the white kitties out? Nope, they have a little sniffle, so I'm putting them, keeping them away just for a little bit until um, they're over their sniffle. But it'll be about two weeks. They've already been quarantined for about one, so it's like kids in classroom, you know. Yeah, I'm glad you guys realized too that the ultimate goal, and you know, I struggle that with any um, euthanasia that we've had in the past, and, and knock on wood, you know, we've been doing really good, but. <clears throat> I struggle in, you know, with any euthanasia, we always have to keep in mind that it is not what we want. It is what is best for the cat. And that's where it struggles because it's so easy to say, well, I want you to keep living. I want you to keep living when they are no longer comfortable. So I think that's... <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I saw that happening. That was funny. Sonny says him sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that food bowl. Dang, <laughs> I'm like a brick. Yeah, it's not Look even. Look at It's one of the ceramic ones, even. Look, he's like, he's like, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm really tired. tired. What do you want? <laughs> I don't know where it went. I yeah, it. I mean, I agree, Jabber. That's just, yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of Where is she? Oh, I see her. Oh, she's like, I heard someone talking about me and I need flakes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at, he, he's up there just sprawling out his, he was like stretching his toes. Sunny, he's like, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He just knocked that bowl on you. All I right. Knock my shoulder back in place. <laughs> Maybe. Problem solved. Yeah. You can work harder today. I can't smite that appointment. <laughs> Um, so other than that, I think that's about all the updates that we had, unless uh, you can think of anything else, Lynette, that I've, I've missed. Um, we will let you know about, oh, Susie. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anywhere it's warm. I don't we, care. we were talking, um, that we are going to try to work on taking a vacation. So do keep that in mind. Lynette's not had a vacation for, I don't, many, like, a long time. <laughs> Number, numbers are hard. Um, she's not had a vacation for a long time, and I would also like to slip away. Um, I, I had a vacation back in September, a few days off. So we, just keep that in mind, a little bug in your ear. Um, we're going to, I think, try to work something out and make that a priority because that, that's very helpful. Anyways, go ahead. Oh. We had to cancel the flash sale yes. this week. Um, we will get that rescheduled. Yeah, I think we're I think we're aiming um, to shoot that or shoot for that um, next week. I believe. Yeah. I think is what we're going to try to. I need to talk to you about that though. Okay. And um, we will let you know about the fundraiser coming up. Yes. Yeah. It has been. You know, we started looking in the coffers. And it has been a little while for since we've had a fundraiser, and we're noticing yeah. it. <laughs> so, you know, we had so many darn extra expenses. I will say um, I haven't sat down and done an exact number on how much um, you guys have inadvertently sent for our fridge fundraiser, which is um, uh, our wonderful moderator, Jem, has found a local place where we can get scratch and dent um, for a new refrigerator. So we are going to work on that. That's on Jimmy's list to when he has a chance to run up to it's in a different town run up there and kind of look and see if he can find something so i haven't um i haven't gotten that so, do we have an idea of the total raise so far for the fridge i don't have the exact 
um, the exact amount in front of me, but it would be, I would say, um, probably 500 to 900 has been raised. I know that's a very wide range, but um, I think that's a pretty close guesstimate. So that gets me definitely in the range of the fridge. And honestly, anything above and beyond that is just going to go into the, the washer and dryer fund. We just spent $700 on getting a new motor for our dryer, which um, we're waiting. It was supposed to be here two weeks ago, I think. It is on back order. It is on back order. We got a phone call on our way into work today that said... Another one? It's on back order. <laughs> we don't know when. How much does the fridge cost? Uh, the Holy smokes. <laughs> I have not bought a fridge for five years. So it's since Hers is fire. the old icebox one where you have the big ice <laughs> chunk delivered in. <laughs> I cannot believe how much fridges are. Yeah, it's they're they're crazy. Yeah, um, the fridge we have um, we, we've raised, and I'm sorry I didn't have an exact total for you guys. Um, I, I don't know why I didn't think to number that up for you, um, but uh, the fridge I think we can get for about a thousand dollars. I think is what um, we saw a lot of them in that range at this scratch and dent place, which I'm, I'm excited. I hope that's pretty good. So that's right, Susie. <laughs> Mithras, yes. Yeah. And then the, the washer and dryer, which I'm not, you know, I'm going to try to look around because that just seems so horrible. <laughs> but the washer and dryer quote we got was 22,000. It was actually 21. 50 to be exact uh 21,000 something something like that 500 or I think that's what it was it, that is so disgusting <laughs> to me I just can't decide is that worth it I mean golly but how much is a new oh oh there you go you're working mom yeah yeah, the one I just, I saw on a random Facebook picture of this place where we're going to go where it has scratch and dent. They had a really nice one that was 900 Um So I'm, I'm guessing probably in that range. I'm going to have them look for something cheaper. But I do like the idea of the fridge being on top as opposed to the bottom just because cats will get in easier if it's on bottom. And we have... Um our problem is we where the fridge is at, it's a... It's a cubby. Yeah. There's, it has to have this dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's very stuck out, you know, so. You know, scrunchins, what's funny, we do have clotheslines hung up out in the dog run. That's where they hang. We do. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not for, we, we hang our yoga mats out there when we, yeah. so, yeah, so we're just trying to, I'm, I'm, it's, it about makes me sick to think of buying a washer and dryer for $22,000. It, it just about makes me sick. If, if I could get some guarantee that it would work for 20 years without fail. Right 10 years. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, yeah. It's very true, Smith Russ. Yeah. I like hanging clothes on the line too. Oh, they do smell good. But um, so yeah, so I guess we're we're just we're hanging out on the the washer and dryer right now. I oh, it just it just will make me about sick to write a check for that large. Oh, I just don't know what I'll do. Just hope they they work until we find something. Make a decision. Mm -hmm. Get. If, if you're buying one for twenty two thousand, I mean, how much does how much does if has anybody bought a washer lately? How much was a washer that you just bought? Well, the problem is we do how many loads a day? Exactly. Seven days a week. But is a normal washer about like a washer dryer set what five thousand? Would you say? Set, probably. Probably. Okay, so then if you bought a twenty two thousand one, then you would assume. Oh, they're saying five hundred, six hundred. Yeah, and that's that's the thing with this one. It's it's we um do need a heavy duty. it's a heavy duty 
Um, I think it's like a 40 pound uh, weight limit or something. It's this really big one. And it does that commercially injection of the solution. How old the washer and dryer are. The dryer is, I think, pretty old. Lynette, you would probably know those better. Yeah, the dryers. Do you know, Debbie, how old that dryer is? I don't know, but I'm going to guess 8 to 10. We got that a long time. That was the double refurbished ones that we did at um, Kitty Christmas. Angie yeah. and Bill family. You know, Angie was saying just this past week that they ended up not getting them refurbished. That See, they were brand new. That's what stumped me too. She said they were brand new. Okay, that's not what I remember. That's not what I remember either. Well, we had trouble finding somebody to fix them. Right. Well, if they were new, the place would have fixed them. And the washer is only um uh at one two years, years old, old two years old mm -hmm. or so but apparently it's that was the, Megan's first gift here <laughs> she started the washer died <laughs> I and no the fridge and the fridge in in the house yes yes I, I'm telling you guys and give me like two years and I'll have all the appliances replaced in here um yeah so Oh, scratchings, you're right. Dryers do last longer than washers. Yeah, and it, it really has. I mean, it's, you know, if you consider it's been eight years or whatever that dryer, you know, had. It's been it's been a long time, so. But, yeah, so we're, I mean, the down, I think the downside with these is, is um, see, yeah, yeah. And we have been looking on Facebook Marketplace. We, we've been trying to check a whole bunch of places. Um, it's just, I think these are the ones that are true commercial. Mm -hmm. Like the, the real expensive ones. They're true commercial versus, oh, yeah. you know, ones that are like for your house that say commercial, but they're not really commercial. Again, I, I would be okay fundraising and all that stuff for it if they could just guarantee we're going to last like 20 years. Then I'll be like, that's fine. That's worth it. I get it. But, yeah, I hate appliances. We, we do use a lot. I'm, you know, I've, I've thought about that dark. Yeah. You guys are so sweet. I, Baby, <laughs> you are so on it. I, I agree. I agree. So, KB said, I think they build them with predated chips to quit running in a short time. I actually agree because it is not cost inducive for the or conducive for them for yeah. to to continue for twelve years, but and they do use cheaper oh, parts yes. than they used to. They do. Come here, baby. Um, uh, I hope I say that she lightful. Um, why was why is Dagda not up for adoption? So we covered that actually quite a while ago. We had a couple concerns with him, so that's why we kept him as a resident. Um, one was that he had some, um, what would you call his, his freak outs? <laughs> PTSD. Oh. Um, PTSDs. Um, and changing him scared him or going into different environments scared him. And the second concern was his other, um, his, his secondary leg was, we're concerned that that might not, that might need some work in the future. There was a couple other things to that, but those are the easiest way to say it. So, yeah, so, it, exactly, KB. Like, your old fridge and old washer and dryers last for 100 years. I've got an old one in my house now that is probably 20 years old, and it's older than the hills, but it's still working. It's not all those fancy-dancy things. You turn the knob, yeah. press the button. Right. <laughs> old school style. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. No problem. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> all right, well... That being said, I think we're going to wrap it up. And uh, thanks for the chat, guys. It was really fun. Um, super appreciate you guys. And, um, oh, jeez. Thank you. Thank you. We just got a donation. Yay. Thank you. I hope I can say that. I'll say th thank you, Kitty. Um, 
for a donation for the new fridge. So thank you guys for chatting with us. We really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we're just grateful for you guys. So we will um, get going. We've got a couple things we've got to get done and all that. Yay. And it's fry. Yay. Fry. Yay. So thank you guys. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Have all right. Enjoy your Friday. Oh, thank you. I am so grateful for her. I mean, I'm telling you what, you guys, I just cannot give her enough credit of how much she does for the center, how much she is just wonderful. I love you, Lynetti. I love you, Megan. <laughs> Lynetti is truly the better half, I'm telling you. No. Oh, no, yes. No, no, no. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. Th exact. Thank you. No, I. I'm not even mad. Like Quit. I agree. Lynette, the best. No, I don't mean it in a bad way. No, she's okay. wonderful. We love Lynette. This is why I have a corner office so I can go hide now. <laughs> she hates getting recognition. <laughs> if you don't know Lynette, she hates it. That's. She does need a vacation. We. Yes. We. I think we should. I think we should start working on that. Group hug. We love all of you guys there too. Yes. You guys are amazing. Oh, thank you, Roz. Thank you, love the animals. Today's mom, Zoe, Selena, Susie, um, Teddy Francis, Cyrus, Anna, hopefully Lucy. <laughs> all you guys. Oh. Right. But she was there for a long time eating. So if you want to check the ball and see how she did. If I only knew where Spiker was. Gosh, where is he? Um, how do you get up? I mean, it was right here. Oh my god.